Hey Trail Travelers, it is Carrie with Trail Traveler, and today we are at Overland Expo Mountain West, which is in Loveland, Colorado, which is really nice today. It's overcast a little bit. It's keeping the temperature down versus last year, which was miserable. So we have some highlights for you today from the show, and there'll be another video tomorrow with even more stuff, different vendors we're talking to, some builds we're gonna look at. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, let's get to the show. We are back here with Josh from Lava Box. You know, we've covered them at each show. Yes. Great product. We used it extensively on our eight day Wyoming trip. It is Amazing. fantastic. But for the people living under a rock, Tell us about Lava Box. Yeah, so Lava Box, uh, and I appreciate everything you guys have done, and the, uh, I wish I was on the BDR with you guys. That's amazing. Um, so Lava Box is a portable campfire that started in uh, military-style ammo cans. We started uh, just building them out of regular ammo cans and realized that we needed to strip them down, do something uh, that was our own high-heat powder coat, and now we make a box that looks like this. So this one is our 50 cal. That thing puts out, we just clocked it at 280,000 BTUs. Wow. So three times the, the heat of any other uh, or any other uh, propane campfire out there, and then a fraction of the and size. This is the one that we use, and yeah. fits in our tiny trailer, so nice, super compact, puts out a lot of heat. So, and it's just nice when it's nice and cold, you have that instant heat without having to like build a fire Man, and everything. The morning fire. The morning. the morning fire is the best. Like you get up and don't have to blow on the fire. You don't smell like smoke <laughs> and you make a fire and you're like having your coffee around it. And then inside, as you know, these, these are our ceramic weave rocks. They weigh nothing. And it's hard to see it on camera, but these guys are incredibly light. So the whole thing clocks in at nine pounds. So the lightest as well. So lightest, smallest footprint, biggest fire. And why a <laughs> propane fire? Well, yeah fire bans everywhere. That's right. I mean, that's right. it's damn near impossible to have a wood fire. In the West, we are, we're stuck, right? Yeah. So that, it's pretty awesome to be able to just turn it on and then turn it off when, and the Rangers are like, that's the best thing I've seen. Yeah. You know, so. Now, this was announced at the uh, Overland Expo in Arizona. Correct. Right? Correct. And this is the over-under thing. Now, uh, <laughs> I, I, I got to get one of these because yes. I, I found out if I, if I put it on uh, dry grass, I can, I can have a little scorch issue. Yep, yep. So, this solves a couple different problems. That's right, that's right. We wanted to first meet leave no trace uh, specifications. We also wanted to, uh, to be able to lift it up and pass the uh, national park standards. Once you, when there's a fire ban, you have to have it five inches off the ground. So that gives you five inches to lift it up like this guy. And then when you're ready to grill on it though, you can throw a rock underneath or put it in an existing fire pit and then snap that guy right on top. And now you're ready to grill, make coffee. You can actually put a, uh, you know, a scotal, a disc type grill on there. Or you can even put a cast iron right on there. Yeah, awesome. Now these come in painted and naked. Yep. So this one's gonna patina up really nice. They look really sweet once they're used. I went with the painted, I don't know why. Yeah. Well, it's because it was what was installed. Well, yeah, probably what I had. <laughs> but now you have the Hecla. Yeah, Tell us about this guy. the Hecla is cool. So the Hecla is our brand new lava box. And you can see it's just a little like tidier, a little fancier. It's all stainless steel, 304 stainless steel. This one is the one I made. Um, so we don't actually have it in production. We'll be ready to have it in production come uh, spring of, of next year. But inside is a fully stainless steel burner. And uh, this one is actually a pound and a half lighter than our current model oh. and uh, really easy to open, which people like. Um, and so, yeah, we're finalizing testing, but we wanted to show this off at the show and just say, hey, this is our new thing. So I can't wait to see it after a bunch of fires have gone. Oh, my God. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be I can't wait to see it either. I haven't, we haven't even burned one yet. Uh, so <laughs> it's probably going to look like exhaust tips or something. Exactly. Right? That's the goal. Oh, uh, blue cool. and, and gold. And yeah, that's the goal. So. so What's the pricing? All right, pricing. We're going to start with uh, the naked at 175 with everything you need, hose, everything you need on it. And then you got the, the painted is 195 And then the Hecla, we're, we're going to probably retail around 300 And then we all, always have the, the biggest one, which I'll bring one over later. I'll show some pictures. Yeah, uh, we have a really big one that's a 20 millimeter rocket box, and that retails for 330 and the over under thing? Over under, you can get the Takana Tusum. You can actually get a, uh, this together for 220 220 Yeah, it's a really, I think, a great deal. And now, if you're getting all this, you should get the bigger bag. Yes, the bag is nice. The bag is nice. I'll grab one. Here we go. I have one right here. It's off camera. 
But uh, this is just a, you know, we, we fashioned it after a uh, range pistol bag. We, we, we use these. I had one at my house and I was like, wow, the lava box is perfect for this. And it has all the pockets you need to put in your over under, your regulator, lava box, and all your goodies. And these are like 54? Yeah, they're 55, 55 bucks, bucks, but you actually can buy it all in combo packs. Yeah. So make awesome. life easy. So looking for a propane solution for your fire needs? Lava box. This is the one. It's the one, man. No, right up here. Thanks. Just thank you very much. Thank you. Good to see you guys. <laughs> We are over here with Jake from Tough Stuff Overland. Now, if you haven't heard of that company, then you haven't been watching some of my videos because we actually have the Alpha 2 tent on top of our tribe trailer. And that used to be part of Tough Stuff Overland. Sure. So, uh, it's got a little history with the company here. But what made me stop here is this shade. And this thing is amazing. Tell us about what's going on here. Sure, so uh, this one is our 270 compact awning. Uh, you can have this thing deployed within 30 seconds by yourself. Uh, Freestanding, so you don't need the legs. It'll handle some wind without the legs, but if you're getting into inclement weather, put the legs down and you're solid pretty much anywhere, anytime. Uh, shade instantly, you would pick driver or passenger side depending on how you want it to swing. Uh, and we have optional shade walls for it, so. All the coverage you need, extremely convenient and light too. It's 53 pounds mounted and, and the, done. the price. The price. So here at the show, we're doing it $500 that on the spot. That is amazing. Yeah, you won't find them that cheap anywhere else, <laughs> that's for sure. So you better get to the show before the weekend's over to get that price. What are they normally? Uh, they retail for $750. Wow, that's a huge, huge discount. Massive discount. We wanted to have a good impact here. It's our first time here, so uh, wanted to spread the love. And you Yeah, know. I'm glad to see you. And as he said, there's sides that just kind of zip in to this thing. Super easy to set up. And as he said, you don't need the legs on it unless you know, you're gonna do that. Do you need them if you're gonna put the sides on? Correct, so, so if you do have the shade walls on, you wanna put the legs down. Uh, the walls, you, so for pack one, you're gonna get a doorway and a window. For pack two, you get two windows. So you choose kind of what works best for you. Um, and they're interchangeable. So you put the doorway wherever you want, kind of how you want it laid out, customized for you. Yeah, I mean, for us, we get somewhere and we just wanna have lunch, but there's mosquitoes or rain or wind or you know all those other things that can make you know just a, a short experience kind of miserable being able to have this set up so fast it is just amazing so got to talk to Katarina but I think <laughs> I'm gonna try and convince her that we need to get one of these this weekend so thanks so much man absolutely. I really appreciate your time absolutely thanks guys uh, if you've watched the last couple Overland Expo shows you should be familiar with Trails Off-Road and if you watch my channel at all you should be familiar with it because we mention it all the time. We use the Trails Off-Road website, we use the app and that is our main source of navigation information. So for if that wasn't good enough give me your spiel. <laughs> yeah so we're Trails Off-Road, uh, we're a team of people who are mapping trails all over the United States uh, we do everything from mile to while, and we document the entirety of the trail. So waypoint by waypoint, we're gonna go through the entirety of a trail, waypoint being a stream crossing, a rock obstacle, a campsite. Uh, every single waypoint is gonna have pictures, and we're gonna take a video of every single trail guide. Uh, so we really want everyone to know before they go and to not get in over their heads or not be bored to death on a trail that they expected to be more interesting. So. Yeah, we, uh, we, we've been a website for the last seven years and we released our apps last year so you can take all of our uh, quality information offline on your devices. Yeah, and we have um, an iPad mounted on the driver's side so we can see the trail that we're on, we see exactly where we're at on it, it tells us the waypoints that are coming up, and quite often if I'm giving you a description of some obstacle or scenic view or something, I may be reading right from the app because there's good information on there. So for getting out there, finding trails, and they're color coded. So to be able to find, I, I just want, where are some easy trails near this? You can easily find easy trails. You want hard trails? Go look for the black trails. Yep. You know? So that color coding is gonna make it easy for you to find trails for your skill level and your vehicle. 
Yep. Yeah, we do everything from the easiest, you know, two-wheel drive trails to the craziest four-wheel drive buggy trails you've ever seen. And we're big campers here, so we always love to document trails, especially with awesome dispersed camping spots, great views, uh, a lot of history. We love mapping yeah. mining uh, trails with old mine shafts or old ghost towns. So, yeah, hop on over to the website, trailsoffroad.com, and uh, download our app and uh, go safely and confidently explore the backcountry. Exactly. And you, you can do a lot of this for free. You can use the website for free, you can use the app for free, but I highly recommend getting the all access pass. You get more trails, you get more information, more features. It's definitely worth worth the extra money. Yep. So. Yep. Well, thank you, Kerry. Yeah. Every time, always love seeing the guys and we love the app. So, get on it. Trailsoffroad.com. Thanks, guys. I know you've heard us mention it on our channel before, but we use the Funtrex books. They're great for helping us find different trails, learning about them. There's history, there's all kinds of good stuff. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it and kind of what, what do you cover? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we cover Colorado, Utah, California, and Arizona. We've got uh, about 600 trails, easy, moderate, and difficult. We're kind of the entry level for people trying to find stuff. Every trail that we produce is going to have something to see. It's going to have a great experience, and it's just something more exciting than a dirt road. <laughs> so that's where we started our stuff. Um, all our books that we've had are all within the last three years, so we've driven everything in the last three years. And that's only on me, so that's a lot of trails. <laughs> that's a lot. But you'll see a good consistency in our trail ratings, easy, moderate, and difficult. The reason we don't do number systems is because it's hard to put on a map a number one, a number four, a number five. And things whereas, change. Yep, whereas green, blue, and red are easier to put on a map, and our custom maps are really nice. We also have uh, apps now for Apple and Android, and what that does is that allows you to see your, your position on the trail and to know exactly where you are. It works offline. You just install the app. You don't even have to download anything. The trails are all on there as well. Excellent. And, and the website. The website is where we keep all our updates because we can't really reprint books every year. We don't want people to buy our books every year. So in our well, app... It would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it would be nice. It would be a little hard. You'd have a lot of them at home. But what we do on the app as well is there's an update option. So when you can click that on the trail, you just send us updates and we get all that and put it, push it right to the website. Yeah, I, I think they're great. Even though we have a plethora of different apps that we use, having something printed with you is always a good backup. That's true, that's true. I mean, nothing, nothing beats a map or something when nothing else is working, your book is always going to work. And what do they run? Uh, they're $30 here right now on sale, but we uh, usually run about 35 bucks retail price on the books. Yeah. Highly recommend them. I mean, for a lot of people that watch this channel, we're in Colorado. The Colorado books are excellent and the Moab books are excellent. Those, those are the two that we, or three, I think, there's two Colorado books, right? Yeah. Yes. So two Colorado books plus Moab. For us, that gives us so much information. I really, really like the books. And I haven't tried the app yet. I got to try the app. Yeah. So. Yeah. And what we like to say, too, is we use Gaia. We use Onyx. We use all these other maps. Our product really just gets you to the best stuff right away. If you're trying to get into this and you don't want to hurt your vehicle, you want to make sure you can get back home, or maybe you have something that you don't you're not sure you want to try, but you've heard about a trail, that's probably covered in our books. And we go to great detail about the trail descriptions and what you're going to experience, how to get out of there, nearest towns, who to contact for the information yes. to find out the current conditions, in case it rained or something like that. So we do a lot of deep work on a trail. And those trails are not boring gravel roads. They're always going to be something to see. I, I love that contact info. So you can always call the ranger station or whatever and find it is this trail open right now and yeah. here that's been a problem we had the fires near red feather lakes and that closed down a bunch of trails we have seasonal closures like mm -hmm. crazy so being able to get that updated information and knowing where to find it because it's right there yeah. in the trail guide really makes for a good resource uh, typically on any given book how many trails are going to be in there uh, about 100 trails in a book sometimes they cover a whole state sometimes they don't we have colorado we have a I-70 is the interstate. That is the splitting line. We have almost we have 90 trails north and 100 trails south. So that state has almost 200. But like Arizona has 100, California has 100, Moab has 90, I think, right now. 
Yeah, excellent. So you're looking for a good resource to find trails that match your experience and your vehicle, be sure and check out the Funtrex books. They're well worth it. I highly recommend everybody have one because they're such a good resource of information. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Absolutely. Good job. <laughs>